In this video, I'm going to take a simple Python script that extracts orders from a Shopify store and then deploy the script on the Google Cloud platform using Google Cloud Functions. This allows us to extract data needed for analytics without having to run anything locally using the Google Cloud Scheduler. The way it works is that we'll have Cloud Scheduler send a message to a pop up topic once every five minutes. This message will then trigger a Cloud function to extract data from the Shopify store and then print out the number of orders to a Cloud function log. This would be a good starting point for writing more advanced ETL pipelines. All right, so here we are in the GCP console. To get started, simply type Cloud functions in the search bar. Then you simply click Create Function. And this will prompt you to enable a few APIs if you haven't done so already. For instance, you have to enable the Cloud Build API. So we'll click Enable to get started. And before we get started setting up the Cloud function, I'm just going to show you how you disable those APIs again in case you don't want them to be enabled. And the way we do that is we go to console.cloud.google.com slash APIs slash library. And there we can just search for the API we want to disable. For instance, we can search for Cloud Build. And if you click that one, you can see that the API is enabled. Then we can go to Manage and we can disable the API at the top. All right, let's head back to the Cloud function to see what we need to set up the function. So we're just going to set up a first generation function. Um, and the important part here is the trigger. We want to set up a pop up trigger to this function. So we'll open up a new console window and we'll search for pop up so that we can set up a pop up topic. And in here, you simply click Create Topic. We'll give it a topic name. We'll call it Shopify Test. Create Topic. Now that we have that topic, we can go back to the Cloud function and we can use messages from that topic as a trigger to the Cloud function. So select pops up as a trigger and then go on and select the topic we just set up. And then we save this. I'm also going to set up a region and I'm going to choose EU West since I'm in Europe. Once you hit next, you get to the part of the function where we can write the code that we want to execute. So I'm going to select Python. And you can see that the entry point of the Cloud function takes an event and a context as arguments. Let's set up the scheduler that We'll send the event that triggers the Cloud function. So we'll open up a new window and we'll type in Cloud Scheduler. And then we click Schedule a Job. We give the scheduled job a name. Let's call it Shopify Data. And then we choose a region. To set the frequency of the scheduled job, we'll open up a new tab and we'll go to Cron Tab Guru. We want to run this job every five minutes. And you can see there is a link here that tells you exactly what the syntax should be. So we'll just copy paste this from Cron Tab Guru and put it into the frequency field. Now the job will run every five minutes. And we can now proceed to configure the execution. We are going to choose pops up as the target type. And we'll select the topic that we set up. And then we'll send a message. Let's just say hello. And that's it. 
we'll leave this as is and we'll click create. Now let's head back to the cloud function and set up the runtime settings and the variables. I'm going to allocate two gigabytes of RAM to the function. It's probably a bit too much, but better to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to set the timeout to 300 seconds. That should be enough. Then I'm going to set the runtime environment variables. We need two variables. We need the merchant name and we need the access token that we get from the Shopify admin dashboard. The merchant name in my case is rapidtesting.myshopify.com. We used this development store in a previous video as well. And then I'm just going to paste in the access token that I copied from the Shopify admin dashboard. So here we are back in the code section of the function. Let me just grab my get data function from VS Code, copy this, and then I'll go back and I'll switch to Python. Then I'll just paste in the get data function in the code section. And by the way, the get data function, we wrote that in an earlier video. I'll put a link to that video below so you can see how you extract the data. I'm just going to copy the rest of the modules or libraries that we need. We need Pandas, we need Shopify, and we need OS to extract the merchant name and the key. And then the code that initiates the Shopify session will be put in the hello pops up function. I'm just going to paste the code and make sure that everything is formatted correctly. And then the last step is to call the get data function on the order attribute and then print the length of that array. Then I'm just going to write a small piece of text in the print statement for readability in the log. And we have two things we want to print. We want to print the number of orders in the Shopify store, and we want to print the message that is sent through the pops up topic. The last thing we need to do is we need to fill up the requirements txt file. So we need the Shopify API Python library and we need pandas. And we're just going to copy paste this into the requirements txt file in the cloud function. All right, let's deploy the function. This is going to take a few seconds. And while the function is deploying, I'm going to go back to the scheduled job and make sure that that is running. I paused it, so I'm going to click resume so that we get the trigger message every five minutes through the pub sub topic. And if we go back to the cloud function, we can see that now it's deployed and it's running. And if we go to the locks, we can see the output of the function. So it's actually counting the number of orders in the Shopify store. We don't have a lot of orders, only 77. And it's printing the message that Cloud Scheduler is sending through the pub sub topic. All right, so this was meant as a quick start to Google Cloud Functions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.